Welcome back to the channel everybody. As you know by now, we have a little fur baby, a new dog, and she's a mixed breed, but we wanted to really know what uh, breeds she's mixed with because, you know, there's different traits that they have, different health concerns they may have, different genes you gotta look for. And this kit that we bought, we bought a DNA, a doggy DNA kit to test her. So it tells us everything we need to know. So today we're going to swab her and send it off and it's gonna take, um, two to four weeks, two to three weeks, two to four weeks, something like that to get the results back. But we're gonna go ahead and swab now. But this is a kit that we bought. It's called the Wisdom Panel. It's a premium dog DNA collection kit. So inside of it, don't throw this away because this is the box that you'll return it in, it even tells you. So this is your return box with the return info. It gives pretty clear instructions. You just gotta swab it, swab their cheek. You gotta wait two hours after they eat, so you don't wanna do it right around the time that they eat, but water's okay, they can drink. We'll try it out and send it in and we'll let you know the results. Here's the swabs here. They give you two and you gotta use them both in the same dog. They just do it to, as a reinforcement to make sure that the, the results are correct. So don't do it on two different dogs, do it on the same dog, just do two different swabs. You gotta firmly roll and rotate the swab bristles between your dog's cheeks and gums for about 15 seconds. With your other hand, you just apply gentle pressure from the outside of their mouth and kind of make sure it gets the saliva all over it. Then you let it air dry for about five minutes and then you do it with a second swab. You know, you put it all back in the sleeve and send it off, but you got to register, you know, your, all your information online and then you'll send it off and get the results back. You know, there are several different companies that do the dog DNA testing, but we chose this one because it had a lot of good reviews online. Plus they test more dog breeds and they give you a good breakdown of all the different percentages of whatever breed they are. And I believe it gives you more uh, health traits that you can look for than any of the other ones. So it's very highly rated. So this one seems like it's one of the better ones. So your little Snickers, let's see if she'll let me do it. Between her cheek and her gums, uh, like right into here. It's okay, girl. No, don't chew it. <laughs> So you just gotta make sure you get it in there for about 15 seconds. I know it's a little bit weird, girl. I'm sorry. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Put a little pressure on here. You being a good girl. Yeah, well, then we gotta do another one. You gotta let that one air dry. You gotta let them both air dry. We're gonna do one more, okay? Just one more. Here, let's try this. You doing the other side or the same side? Yeah, let's try this side. She's yeah. been really good. She lets us uh, touch her paws and do almost anything to her paws and anything right. else she, you know, we really want to do. She's been really good about it. At the corner of her mouth there. You've been a good girl. Kind of rub it to make sure that it gets on there really good. Yeah, I don't want to push it in. I'm just moving it around. And there's soft bristles, so she's such a good girl. She is a good girl. That makes me think that she'd let us brush her teeth if we need to at some point. That's good. Okay. Good girl, Miss Snickers. So all I have to do now is put this in the mail and get the results back, and we'll be sure to share it with you on this video. Okay, so we got Snickers DNA test results back. It's, it's been, been about two weeks. About a day less than two weeks, so that was pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good. It said two to four weeks, so we're happy about that. And you will never guess what breeds she is. Type in the comments what you thought she would be. Look at her. Just look at that. Just look at that. <laughs> but we thought, you know, I can tell you one thing for sure is. We were completely shocked. Yeah. I mean, I thought she even, I thought we even had the wrong results. I know, I kept saying, uh, did they switch the results when, the... pause the video, drop a comment, let us know what breed you think that she is, what she looks like. Or mix. And then, yeah, know. or what mixes, and then resume the video. <laughs> so here we go. First, when you first log in, it shows, you know, her pictures that I uploaded and everything. In the top there, you can see that there's, the different highlights and uh, different parts of the of the website but here are her results 11 breeds detected her top five breeds are 41 percent chihuahua 21 percent poodle toy and miniature poodle seven percent chow six percent boxer which is weird five percent pomeranian 
I mean, we wouldn't, we didn't guess any of those. <laughs> None of those. Not a single one of them did we guess for, for her. But those are the top five. Why do you see the rest of them? There's 11 total. But yeah, 11 breeds total that's part of her DNA. But those are the top five. So here are all 11. So she's the terrier, they break it down into sections. Terrier breed, 41% Chihuahua, 3% Miniature Pincher. Companion breed, 21% Poodle, 5% Pomeranian, 5% Pekingese. 3% Bichon Frise and 1% Shih Tzu. But then also she has guard dog in her 6% Boxer and 3% Pit Bull. Are you a Pit Bull? You got some Pit Bull? She is, she is pretty loyal. She's and then 7% pretty... Child and 5% Cocker Spaniel for sporting. I thought she had more Cocker Spaniel, but yeah, she is pretty, you know, she's loyal. She's protective, but she's also really sweet. So I just thought she was a terrier spaniel mix she's got the fur of the spaniels really silky um and i thought maybe a terrier could you know her little head she maybe looks like a little jack russell or something i don't know but um i, I, I we were floored yeah we we wouldn't have guessed any of those breeds <laughs> never guessed any of it you can learn more about the specific breeds on the website too if you want and it shows what her family would have looked like the parents were chihuahua mix chow mix and a poodle mix and then also the other parrot was a Chihuahua mix, Chow mix, and a Poodle mix. So the same. They have so, the same DNA as she does, I guess, is what they're so, showing. But then it talks about their grandparents and their great grandparents, and then yeah. it just shows a lot of the, a lot of that. But one of the main reasons why we really like this particular DNA profile was because of the health. When you at the top, you'll see the different tabs, and you click on the health tab, and it shows that. She has, she's clear on all 267 of the, of the known genetic predispositions or defects or whatever you want to call it. Um, she don't have any of those. So that's she's the, very healthy. That's the beauty of a mixed breed is she is extremely healthy. That's true for most dogs. Most mutts or mixed breeds are a lot healthier than your purebred simply because if you've got a purebred dog like for instance, German Shepherds have, they're known to have a lot of hip dysplasia or Cocker Spaniels are known to have a lot of um, ear infections. So if you have a breed that has a, you know, you breed a dog that has a bred with a bunch of different breeds, then you breed out that trait in them. So they are technically usually are healthier. But it shows you on here the different breeds and the, pre the, the problems they normally have. And she's clear of all of them. Even though she has bits of the breeds in her, you know, little pieces of all the breeds all the problems that those breeds have are not there because she's, you know, she's genetically diverse. Yeah. So that's a really, really good thing for us to know. And for you too, if you have any dogs. So even if, uh, you know, if you're not sure what the dog breed or if you think you know it's a pure, pure breed, or it, it's worth it just to do it for the health problems, mm -hmm. potential health problems. It doesn't say that she actually has these health problems or your dog would, but it, it would show that they're likely to get them. So you can kind of figure out what to do ahead of time. <clears throat> yeah, she's clear of all that. And that's, that's that's the main reason why we chose this specific wisdom panel DNA test is because we wanted to see if she had any of those health risks or uh, had some predispositions to health problems. And we wanted to know that ahead of time. And it even goes into showing you about the uh, their coat, her coat type. You know, there's... Um, the traits of her the, coat. Yeah, the different of her fur. But she's... Uh, She's got 11 different traits in her coat colors, um, but you know, fawn. If you click on each one of these, it tells you it goes into more detail. More detail about it. Mask, recessive black, tan points. She got some tan points. <laughs> she got some brownie points, huh? Is that some what brownie, brownie points? Yeah. <laughs> you got brownie points. You gonna try to give mouth kisses? <laughs> But then it goes and tells you about, you know, what kind of alternative names for the fawn, <clears throat> like Sable, uh, Stag Red, and Wheaton. So there's different uh, types of fur that she could have. But all I know is she's she's pretty resistant to dirt, which is good. Uh, yeah, she can trape to that dirt she's been and it through, just falls right off She's of been her. through a lot of different dirt, and it just comes right off of her. <laughs> it seemed, but she's, she's still going to have to have a bath. <laughs> We haven't tried a bath yet, so that's going to be interesting. So we just wanted to show these these results, and we do recommend this wisdom panel. Mm -hmm. We'll put a link down in the description, like we said earlier. I think I mentioned earlier, but either way, we'll put the link in the description. 
if you want to check it out. Go check it out and see what your dog's all about and see what breeds there are. And, and if you have a purebred dog, you could still do this uh, DNA specifically for the health risks just to see if your dog has a predisposition to a certain health problem. And you might even find out that your dog isn't really purebred. Because <laughs> they go really extensive. So if you have a dog that's not quite purebred, it'll they'll find out. It'll tell you. This ya. test will tell you. So... Anyway, we really do recommend it, and Snickers recommends it. Don't you say, I recommend it. She's not even going to look at the camera now. Uh, <laughs> tell them, say, like this video. Tell them, say, like it, share it, subscribe to our channel. And don't tell them, also, tell them, say, I now have an Instagram page. <laughs> yeah, say it, Snickers Fun Adventures. Snickers. Follow me on Instagram at Snickers Fun Adventures. We just started it, so... She'll, we'll put some pictures of her and some other little videos of her on there. <laughs> so she's a she's a little something else. So it'd be it'd be interesting to follow along and and check her out over there. Anyway, thanks y'all so, for watching. We really appreciate it. Uh, be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. So if you want to watch the video where we went and adopted her, just click this video right here. <laughs> click this video. This is where we went and adopted her. Until next time. Live, Live in, in the, the sunshine. sunshine.